Last week I dismantled a uh, colour laser printer. It was the uh, Samsung CLP510, I think it was. And one of the, the many, or one of the consumables came out of that was the image transfer belt. This was a, um, it's kind of a kind of a long unit which kind of fits into the, the machine. In this case, it took the image from the drum, which picks it up from the toner cartridges, and transferred it to the uh, paper. Now these, uh, like all the units in there, they've got a certain lifespan. Um, they've got kind of a certain number of pages and units they can print to. And I finally kind of got around to dismantling the, the transfer belt today. And there's one electronic component inside. Uh, it's got a few high voltage contacts around the outside which charges the, the kind of the rollers and the, the belt. But uh, the other kind of piece of electronic circuitry inside is this here. It's connects to the uh, main kind of uh, connector which plugs into the unit. That then runs to two pieces. This little standalone circuit board, which just feeds straight out again. No sensors on here, it's uh, just a little microchip and a few kind of uh, passives. And at the other end, there's a connector to a, um, a kind of a light uh, brake sensor. This ran around the, the belt, and so it detected um, the belt that ran through had a like a small notch in place, and this then ran through the sensor, so the sensor could detect one complete revolution of the belt. I believe this is for uh, so it could be kind of uniformly used, so it would lay down the, the colours in the same places each time, just so there was uh, no kind of issues there. I think. Um, but uh, this is the board that kind of caught my interest. I um, like a lot of kind of ink cartridges, things that you buy, they're designed to be only used and never refilled again. And I thought perhaps this has got a similar purpose, so I did a bit of digging, found the full service manual for the printer, and uh, even the circuit diagrams for all the various parts. And on here it's just a little uh, memory chip. And so I'm going to try and uh, get this kind of connected up and try and read off any of the data that's on here and see what's there. Might just be a serial number, part identification number, so the printer knows that it's got a, um, what part's been inserted and if it's valid. Um, it might be a counter that's being fed back into to kind of count how many um, kind of prints it's performed, or it might be some other purpose. It might be doing both. Um, hopefully, the data will tell us what's on here. So this is the part detail, the main kind of connector which fitted on the. Uh, was uh, how, how the, um, the transfer belt plugged into the unit, kind of mated with this connector, and the other side was the uh, slightly kind of flexible, um, non securely mounted connector I pointed out last time. So, um, here's the actual board. You can see on there is a 4K IC along with uh, a couple of diodes on there, or dual diode packages. And few resistors and capacitors. I think just to clean up the supply. This is a, uh, if I zoom out a bit, you can see the circuit diagram. This is from Samsung's uh, kind of service manual. And you've got the, the IC over there. Um, a couple of diodes here. This is to kind of clamp and protect the two data lines coming in. The resistors in the data line. And uh, the odd kind of capacitor scattered around. And this is a really straightforward 5 volt uh, IC. Uh, it connects through an uh, I squared C data bus. And I'm going to hook that up now to an Arduino because that's what I've got to hand and uh, read off the data. This is just a quick close up of the circuit board. You can see the uh, memory chip down there. Just about make out the serial number. And then the Kind of two, the resistor and capacitor. This was on the uh, data line coming in and acted as a, uh, I believe, just a basic filter. And you've got the uh, protection kind of diode which clamped the input lines to both rails. And uh, it's kind of a decoupling capacitor there. It's the board. I've connected up the uh, the device. It's a little kind of memory chip here. It's really straightforward. Just plug straight into the. Uh, the kind of the ITC ports on this device and hooked up into the 5 volt power rail. And I've written a very basic little uh, program to read the data off. The 
a memory chip is a kind of a four four K device. And so yeah, I've played around a little bit with formatting here, just to try and get the data to um, display a little bit better. But the program itself is really straightforward. I the start here, kind of initialize it, and then send a. Um, um, I'm resetting the kind of the, the pointer address for the memory device. The reading of the data is sequential, but um, because we're playing around each time, it um, seems to be jumping into random places, as it would. So um, I ended up putting this line in here, which basically um, puts it into write mode and writes the address zero zero, and that in turn becomes the pointer address. And so within the loop here, when I start reading out the data, every time this executes, it starts reading from the zero zero location. That way my data is coming out in quite a nice formatted fashion. And so after a bit of trial and error, I'm reading out um, eight bytes at a time and putting a kind of a blank line in between this. And then after 16 or so bytes, I'm putting an extra line in and that is uh, basically breaking it down into each of the different locations. And so that then gets uploaded, executed, and as soon as it finishes we can read the data. So here it's the live output straight from the device. I'll zoom in a bit here. And so the data comes out in these chunks. The first two K okay, have got data in. The subsequent 2K are empty. The Y with the umlaut on top is uh, basically 1 when you view it in binary. So it's empty memory. So go back to the first two. There seems to be a mix of um, probably kind of ASCII identification data as well as um, possibly counters in here, although it is pretty hard to tell. We seem to have uh, obviously the manufacturer, a couple of black lines, the model number, of the printer, presumably this transfer belt only worked with one device. This is probably a year of manufacture, um, 2005, either the fifth month or the fifth week, probably the week, that's what's used. And this string here, which is prefixed by the I dash. Now this, unfortunately, I, I don't have any of the remaining parts, so I can't check to see if this was printed on the unit. So it's possible this is a, it's probable, I think this is a serial number and it then gets repeated further down in the second uh, chunk. And you see the same string towards the end here. It wraps onto the second line. And at the end of this other byte, you've got the same data repeated again. Now in amongst this, there are a few other bits and pieces. You can see there's a missing character there. And we've got a few bits here and there. And uh, that is probably some kind of uh, counter data. Obviously, if you view it kind of rep directly as kind of numeric data, it does kind of correspond to a number, but I don't have, um, unfortunately, I don't have the, the stats from the printer to know what it kind of got up to in terms of print counts or what its lifespan was. So there's no way to really kind of correlate that data. But it certainly looks like uh, this. Uh, th this device kind of uh, did store that information. I mean, in addition, there is a, a right pin back on the uh, circuit diagram. Kind of the, the right enable pin here. It is uh, it's left floating, which means it's uh, designed for kind of reading and writing to the chip. It's not locked down just for read only. So it's not as if it's um, a serial number identification only. I think it's there so it can kind of write to and update the device in terms of what it's printed. So I think that's about it for this device. It's a, uh, it was quite a simple little thing and I'm quite pleased I was able to kind of pull data out of this. And, and it is a small memory chip which could come in useful as a spare, but um, I think that the value is just in this, uh, be able to kind of actually read some data off. I think that's uh, that for now. I think it's the last of the interesting parts on this printer. Although the, uh, the stepper motors sh should be quite interesting if I can get them up and running.